Alrighty now, it's time for evolution. We welcome you to the Ogona Art Family. So today we are going to do a bird's eye view tutorial, a tutorial recommended by The Do. And so for this tutorial, if you haven't seen my uh, understand understanding the cylinder, understand the cylinder video, uh, go check that out because I, I go more into detail into understand the cylinder. And so for a quick recap from understanding the cylinder and and uh and side view uh we're gonna you know bring this back so this is the uh this is how you would want to draw 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 your uh figure within this shape this shape and so as as things go up uh things increase more the intensity of the cylinders increase as things go down it it, be, it decreases for example now this is so this is an anti view an anti view example and so as you uh as as you as you're drawing your cylinders and as you're like right here on the ground with this almost straight line almost straight line you keep you look up and you look up uh these cylinders are going to uh, gradually rotate as you're drawing your anti view and now for the bird's eye view is the exact opposite all right and so for the bird's eye view things are now backwards okay things are kind of like i want to say upside down but now the head is up here usually for anti view the head is over here and at, and things start to increase the body starts to increase more but for bird's eye view the head becomes a lot bigger and then the uh the feet becomes a lot uh smaller all right and similar to how this is so all i did was just turn the the anti view cylinder backwards and so that you can see what goes on here and i'm going to give you guys an example so like i said these are like the intense the intensity levels here as you rotate so what I mean by intensity levels, I'm going to give you an example right here. So imagine this is the cylinder. This looks this looks similar to the uh, cylinder. So this is the deleter ink. We're going to use this as an example. This is, and as we see the deleter ink from this perspective, uh, this is the full circle. <clears throat> so we're starting off with the full circle. And I know this paper, it doesn't exactly look like the full circle. It actually looks like an eclipse, but let's just use our imagination and pretend this is a full circle, okay? So this is a full circle and you wanna draw a full circle, all right? And and we're doing bird's eye view. And so as you rotate, as, you, as you're rotating this, this cylinder right here, okay? You're gonna see how, how it's gradually, like how, how this paper is, it's gradually uh, changing the intensity is decreasing the intensity you see that now it's an eclipse all right and as you as you continue on now you start to see this line here is or almost a line all right so it's, it's similar to a line it's almost a line and so if you are doing a anti view we're going to use that as an example this is like the bottom of the the deleter ink we can also you know see this as a cylinder uh you'll see you'll be able to see that full circle here and as you gradually rotate it downwards it's going to like uh decrease the intensity a little bit until it becomes a line so it becomes a full circle and then it, it starts it becomes a a kind of eclipse and then it gradually you can't see the eclipse anymore and it becomes a line so that's the concept for uh for <clears throat> for for anti view all right all right now so on this example we have an, an almost almost full circle and then we have a full circle and this is the top of the torso which is similar to how a cylinder is but you know the original shape the original shape is actually like a an oval and not a perfect circle like how this is but it's like an oval and so usually i like to put my the pec muscles inside that and the the clavicle bone will be the center line where the, the two shoulders are, are are now attached which look like balls here and you know we start to see that full circle and so again 
almost full circle and then as you rotate it you start to see the full sections of it so this is the full sections of it and so this would be a, an unnatural cylinder you can check out my cylinder my cylinder tutorial understand the cylinder so that you understand what, I, what I'm talking about with the terminology here and so um, for this as we start to see that full circle here happening on this human uh, the the head the head here you can kind of see that full circle as well you know since and also the ears like start to go inside the uh, that full circle of the, the of the uh, torso it starts to uh, you know overlay that okay so the ears go inside of that and however for this almost full circle uh, the ears are a little bit on top but if we're if we're going like if we're kind of going dynamic with it the ears or are, are within that uh, that cylinder that uh, full circle shape okay and these would be the uh, the shoulder muscles as I said and so uh, the uh, the head also kind of the head also like rotates in a full circle so the ears the nose actually would be here and the ears would rotate like a full circle like how kind of how this here this is the the x process or or, or the, the sternum the sternum and then you, you see this the shoulder muscle here and it, you see how it's kind of rotating okay the same thing for how the nose is right here and the ears right here is kind of rotating it but also it's inside it okay because we're seeing that full circle and it's not like that here and see, notice how things are starting to taper okay notice how things are just slightly starting to taper like how how we have this example here uh things since we're doing bird's eye perspective things are starting to taper from the head the top to the head and then think the, the things are uh the cylinder is starting to taper all right and so we're gonna do a live demonstration of as to what I was talking about when it comes to uh, the full circle and how things should also taper like how this is tapering all right so for this example we're going to uh, just draw again start off with a full circle an unnatural so uh, unnatural cylinder that's like a, a curve for the top of the torso all right so this would be the top of the torso let's zoom let, let me zoom this let me zoom my camera a little bit more so this would be the top of the torso all right and now as you're drawing that things are going to taper you know and this would be the bottom of the torso okay all right all right things are going to kind of taper and, and it's usually like how, how this is okay and this kind of matches this shape you know but it, remember that it's also tapering and so the center line this would be where the clavicle bone is going to originate from okay and you could google the clavicle bone i'm sure you the collarbone it's also known as the collarbone if you don't know what if you don't know the clavicle and so the center line is going to match with the uh the uh the shoulders okay and they show and these shoulders i'm going to make make uh make them look like circles for simplicity's sake and this is where you would uh, start to draw your deltoid muscle okay and so the the head the head is going to uh come right here okay so this is what the head would, would be like okay and there would also be something extra coming up like popping out like a chin uh i i should do a uh a tutorial on heads too you know but uh for now like know this okay and so the head would be like here and inside inside of that full circle that you see here is where the uh the ears are going to uh pop out okay the ears will pop out here all right you see those two ears those two ears and then you have nose the nose right here this is where the nose will come out okay now no, look look how i'm look how these circles look how okay so we have full circle for this okay we're looking at the top full circle full circle for that you see that full circle and then there's some there's another one there's another full circle for that nose here just just to keep in mind just so that you guys could see keep keep track keep track of what I'm saying to think in 3d okay and so there's another full circle right here okay all right 
and you don't see the other half because the, the other head is blocking it but you want to imagine that there's another full circle all right because the full that it, it's it's com, it completes at all the way near the back of the head all right but you're not able to see that but you want to like imagine that okay and so these this is where the, the pec the pec muscles are going to be originating from okay and i usually from bird's eye view sometimes sometimes it's not all the times but in this scenario when i'm drawing like this specifically for this i like to have the torso uh come to the top of that full circle okay and this is where the x process the the xiphoid process of the rib cage is going to appear near the bottom here okay all righty all righty and now that we have that uh we can start to draw the uh the other stuff so i'm just going to draw draw it in forms of a basic cylinder shape okay so we have this remember things are going to be tapering see tapering things are going to be tapering and i'm going to also draw this as a basic cylinder shape okay things are going to be tapering okay things are going like this bird's eye view and uh this this bottom this uh this uh the uh the elbow the uh where the where the forearm meets the elbow that that point is where you will make another cylinder for the forearm and this this point is where uh where it would match the the belly button okay and the belly button would be located somewhere around here all right so we have this okay So we have this, and the belly button would be some located somewhere around here. All right. So again, you can imagine that uh, if we were looking at it from like straight, straight forward, then you know the belly button would be right here. But since we're looking at it from an ant's eye view, again, we're looking at it like, like a, like um, like it is a full circle. Okay. So this would match here. Okay like a full circle all right so we're just gonna i'm just gonna make another another example here so, uh I'll, I'll take another marker uh all right so full circle and the belly button will come up so i want you if, if you guys are lost i want you guys to uh understand we're looking at it from this angle okay so everything every part of the body makes that full circle shape okay everything is making is making that cylindrical shape okay if we were looking at it like straight straight like straight straight like how this is then you will see that line everything would align uh the the nose and the ears would, would align the elbow and the uh the belly button would align like this but since we're looking at it from the full circle things are going to take that cylindrical shape okay so i just want you guys to keep that in mind uh so as we continue drawing we're just going to uh you know finish finish this off with the uh the legs okay all right and then we're going to uh complete this All right, so here's a more clear or accurate example on the notes. Uh, you see that full circle of the torso. This is the top of the torso, and the pecs are, are right here. The center line will be where the, the clavicle bone is at, all right? And then you would originate from the two deltoid, like I said before. And then, again, things are traveling in a full circle. So you see how this person right here, things, things are getting smaller to the bottom when you're doing bird's eye view and things are getting bigger to the top okay so bottom big and top small for bird's eye view all right and uh, you see how i did the full circle right here for this for this the top of the uh the cylinder here like how this is and there's another cylinder for the head okay this is where the nose would be from front and then you have the ears here these are this is the elbow it's not all the way at the middle again it's rotating like a uh, like a like a cylinder 
okay like a, a circle is it's it's being formed within that circle all right and then things again like i said things are tapering things are are tapering for bird's eye view taper taper getting smaller at the bottom getting smaller it's getting smaller so the feet are getting smaller things are tapering things are getting smaller so you draw the legs again things are getting small things are shrinking all right and yeah that that will be the video the uh that will be the i'm gonna have a second part to to bird's eye view so i hope this video has helped you guys and tell me if this analysis has helped you understand drawing or has improved your drawing at in, in any way and uh, yeah peace out